funny how recruiting can work sometimes. The decision of one recruit can have a domino effect on players across the country. Just take this example from this year's quarterback class. About a year ago, Ricky Town, a quarterback at St. Bonaventure High School in Ventura, California, was verbally committed to Alabama. But last January, when nearby USC hired Steve Sarkeesian, things changed for Ricky. I was committed to Alabama and I was, I was happy with it, but um, with the new coaching staff, they started inviting me and uh, sending me more letters and more interest. And they invited me over to a campus tour. And so I just took them up on it because I really didn't know what USC was. And so I went there and I just fell in love with it as soon as I stepped foot on the campus. I mean, the coaching staff is awesome. I love Coach Stark and uh, Coach Helton and Coach Tuyas. So all those coaches are great. He re-engaged with USC because they contacted him. And the first time around, it seemed unstable a little bit. The environment, we weren't sure if the coaches were going to stay. And uh, he really liked Alabama. He really hit it off with Coach Saban and Coach Nussmeyer, and it was a, it was a good fit. But when he came back to USC the second time around, those coaches showed him the system they were going to be running, engaged with him, and spent a lot of time, a lot of quality time with him. When we left that day, he told me, he said, this is where I'm going to school. So I told him, I said, Rick, sit on it a week, you know, take your time, just really make sure it's the right thing. And come that Saturday, he woke up, came out of his room, said, let's go, I'm committing today. And I said, okay. Like, I always knew, like, USC was a great football program, and, uh, they produce all the quarterbacks, and I've always grown up watching them. It's, it was, since a child, it's been my dream to play for them. With Alabama missing a quarterback in his 2015 class, it didn't take long for Nick Saban and his staff to find someone just as promising as town. Blake Barnett is another blue chip Southern California quarterback, and when we met him last summer, he was committed to Notre Dame. I love, I love the campus down there. I love the program and the history, and uh, the education as well is a big part of it. But when the opportunity to play for an SEC powerhouse like Alabama came up, it was an offer Blake couldn't turn down. Blake and his family are now very happy with his commitment to the Tide. I'm completely thrilled. I, he couldn't be at a better program. I'm glad things work out the way they did. There's reasons for everything, and I think he's going to excel at Alabama for, in many ways. So with Barnett flipping to Alabama, now the Irish were looking for a quarterback. And just like Alabama, they were able to find someone just as talented as the one they lost. Brandon Wimbush led New Jersey Power St. Peter's Prep to a state title this season and was named the state's Gatorade Player of the Year. Previously a Penn State commit, Wimbush is a mobile quarterback who is known for his powerful arm. Well, he's got a golden arm. I mean, the kid has probably as good an arm as there is in the, in the country, I'm told, and certainly as best as we've had in, in this program since I've been here for 31 years. Brandon probably has the strongest arm I've ever seen <laughs> as a high school football player. He actually, uh, a couple months ago, actually dislocated one of my fingers. It was pretty bad, and like popped the nail off and everything. For the past couple of seasons, I've been described as a person with a, a quarterback with a strong arm, and uh, maybe they haven't seen the mental part um, in the off season. I mean, but kids on my team and, and my coaches can see the mental part during practice, during the season, and uh, that's what I would like to express more to to people who don't know me as well. Now he'll bring that strong arm and winning attitude to South Bend. Thank <laughs> you.